The Midwestern US state of Wisconsin has become the scene of angry protests, mostly against a Republican proposal targeting public workers' unions. Here's more. This is the fifth straight day of protests. Thousands of demonstrators marched in front of Wisconsin's capital to show their anger at a Republican proposed bill that would sharply quash union rights for public employees. Police say the protests have gained momentum. They estimate that some 40,000 people, including teachers, prison guards, and many students, took part in the rallies. On Friday, protesters forced the state assembly to adjourn until at least Tuesday without holding a vote. Meanwhile, 14 Democratic senators have fled to the neighboring state of Illinois to kill the voting procedure on the bill. Senator John uh, Erpenbach, the one of these senators, has explained why the lawmakers left the state. The reason why we left is this was the only way we knew we could uh, slow the process down, allow people to be heard on this particular issue and, and what it means to them, but most importantly, try and get the governor to sit down rationally and, and talk about this proposal and talk about changes. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker has said the concessions have been put forth to deal with the state's projected $3.6 billion budget shortfall. He insists the bill will also avoid future layoffs. At the same time, the legislation will eliminate the bargaining rights of public employees. It would also cut their benefits and pay to a large extent. The leader of the state's largest union of public employees said the protests will go on until authorities agree to negotiate. However, state governor Scott Walker has refused to backtrack. We're broke. Uh, we don't have any more options. Uh, we can't do what uh, the previous governor and legislative majorities did, and that is wait for the federal government to bail us out, because the federal government doesn't have any money either. Frustrated protesters say the legislation is aimed at depriving employees from their basic union liberties. This is not about money. This is about an ideology. It's about crushing the union and taking their pensions. The workers are rightly fighting back, and I want parents and students and ministers to stand with these teachers. It's not about money. It's never been about money. It's about the Republican Party trying to squash the Democrats, trying to squash union rights. And I'm sick of it. On the other side were protesters who said they support the Republican proposal. I'm here to let legislators know there are a lot of taxpayers who support what they're doing, who realize the future of Wisconsin depends on getting our fiscal house in order. And just to say to the people here, there's there, the ta there are other taxpayers who, who disagree. This isn't a unified monolithic view. 